There's 104 days of summer vacation And school comes along just to end it So the annual problem for our generation Is finding a good way to spend it Like maybe Building a rocket or fighting a mummy Or climbing up the Eiffel Tower Discovering something that doesn't exist hey. Or giving a monkey a shower Surfing tidal waves Creating nanobots or locating Frankenstein's brain It's over here! Finding a dodo bird, painting a continent, or driving our sister insane. As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall. Come on, Barry. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence. Hey, you know, kids, these fossils are of creatures that lived right here in Danville millions of years ago. Well, lucky these things aren't still here today. No, lucky would be if we weren't still here today. Oh, look, this T-Rex footprint was found not 30 yards from this very spot. Hey, and it says here that this fossil was dug up right near our very own neighborhood. Didn't we have a dog named Bucky who got sick and went to live on kindly old man Simmons' farm? Oh. Uh, let's move on, shall we? This next exhibit is kindly old man, Simmons. Hey! Who's up for milkshakes? Hmm? Gadgets through the ages. This exhibit was made for us, Ferb. Hey, what are all those people looking at? And this is one of our most curious pieces. A time machine made by a 19th century scientist named Xavier Onassis. But of course we know he never finished it, or else we'd still see him here today. <laughs> right, right, eh? Uh, anyone? All right. Moving on. A time machine, huh? Ferb, I know what we're gonna do today. Right. Let's fix us a time machine. Hey, where's Perry? Agent P? Hey, it's me, Carl. The intern? We got a bit of a situation here. Major Monogram has been frozen like this pretty much all day. Solid as a rock. Oh, sorry. Anywho, if the Major were able to, I'm sure he'd say, well, ouch, first of all, am I right? <laughs> but seriously, I'm sure he'd say Doofenshmirtz was up to something and you should get to the bottom of it. Am I right, sir? <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a yes. Good luck, Agent P. And this fossil is the only representation of the Glickiola species from the Jurassic era. How exciting! Ugh. Why do I have to endure this suffering while Phineas and Ferb are off who knows where doing who knows? What are you doing? Fixing a time machine. <gasps> you broke the exhibit? I'm telling Mom! What are you doing? <gasps> you broke the exhibit? I'm telling Mom! Cool. Hi guys, what you doing? We're fixing this time machine. Isn't that kind of impossible? That's a possibility. Well, good luck. My troop and I are going to the local fossils exhibit. Catch up with you later. Bye. Doofenshmirt Sable Incorporated! The platypus! I, uh, I, uh, uh, there's no one else here. I mean, wh what are you doing here, Perry the platypus? <laughs> I have mice? I, I wouldn't go in there if I were you! <laughs> Perry the platypus, I swear I've never seen this uh, secret agent looking panda before! <laughs> well, there's a panda in my closet and a panda paw print on my cheek. B but it's not what you think. We're not enemies. We're, uh, we're just bad friends. Mom! Mom! Evidence! Whoa, whoa, whoa there, little missy. There's no yelling. Didn't you see the sign? Oh, that's right. It's a museum. I wouldn't want to wake anyone up. You got tossed out too, huh? Yeah, for yelling. You yelled in the museum? That is hardcore. Why'd you get thrown out? Stole a pterodactyl. It's not like I yelled. You got it! Let me sneak back in! Please, please, please! Whoa, 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 okay. I've got a plan. So ingenious. It involves military-like stealth precision, 
and timing. We gotta say yeller in quadrant six. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy. Oh, hey, Candace. They have a slushy dog here. Yeah, it's new. I'm so bored. Feels like by the time my shift is over, I'll be a part of the fossil exhibit. <laughs> part of the fossil exhibit? That's a good one! <laughs> Oops, gotta go. That was close. Okay, Ferb, ready to test the circuit quanta stabilizers. Testing. <laughs> Did you hear something? <laughs> Yeah. Um, where'd you run off to? What do you mean? I didn't go anywhere. Right. Testing number two. So, can I get you something? <laughs> Part of the fossil exhibit. That's a good one. <laughs> we are a go on number three. Hi, Jeremy. Candace, you're really kind of freaking me out. Hey, aren't you a little young to be working in a museum? Yes. Yes, I am. Well, it's nice to see young people taking an interest in history. Can I get you boys anything? Anything at all? Actually, there seems to be a piece missing. It looks sort of like this. Have you seen it? Hmm, looks familiar. I'll keep my eye out for it. Sorry, Barry the Platypus, I didn't want you to find out this way. Okay, here it is. Peter the Panda is my new nemesis. We met at an evil genius expo in Seattle, and, well, me and Peter, we just instantly disliked each other, and then... He foiled a little evil scheme of mine. It, I didn't plan it that way. It just happened. Peter the Panda, be a dear and go get us a soda. It's not that I don't hate you anymore. I do, but look, I, I just think it's time for us to, you know, take a break and start fighting other people. Thank you, Peter the Panda. I'd offer you one, Perry the Platypus, but I, I think it's better if we just have a clean break, don't you? So... Where was I? Oh, yes! So, Peter the Panda, you think you have outwitted me! Perry the Platypus, you're, you're making this harder than it needs to be. Go on, it's over now. Oh, that? That's a Freezinator ray, but I, I don't want to explain it again. I just gave the whole spiel to Peter, but don't worry. He's stopping me. He's, he's got it well in hand. Goodbye. Cross you, Peter the Panda! You! I thought I tossed you out! Hey, what's this? Stealing part of a display is very serious. Almost yelling serious. And last, but circuitly not least... <laughs> huh? Mom! Can I get you boys anything? Anything at all? Well, uh, yeah. Like I said before, we seem to be missing this piece. Hmm, looks familiar. I'll keep my eye out for it. Ah, there it is! Cool. Thanks. Without your schemes, my life, it seems, is empty. I spent all my time keeping you from doing wrong. You were my only nemesis. I'd for your plans, but still I miss the moments when we didn't get along So search your heart please Dr. D And I am sure that you will see That you were always meant to be My only lifelong enemy But now you're doing battle With a panda from Seattle I miss the moments when we didn't get along. Darling, can I have five dollars for the audio tour? Sure. Amateurs. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are in the gadget! through the ages exhibit and they're doing something to this chair thing and Ferb is using that hose thingy that makes sparks and he's wearing that mask that goes like this and you have to come with me right now please 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 well if it's that important to you really did I ever tell you how much I love you they're this way hurry
Hurry, hurry, they're in here! Verb, you got that thing you're working yet? Gotcha! You guys are so... Candace, how am I supposed to keep up? Candace? Well, it's working now. What? What's working? Take me home, 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 take me home! Sure, Candace, no problem. This could be a problem. Whatever you do, keep your voices low and no sudden movements. Wow, it worked. Let's go save Candace. Follow that T-Rex. Wait, we don't have helmets. We hope you enjoyed your audio tour of Fossils. If you'd like to take the tour again, just flip the tape. I can do that? Hey, I don't remember seeing this part. <laughs> hey, that looks just like Candace. Hey, honey, you've got to see this. Look, I'm telling you, it's the most peculiar thing I've ever seen. It looks just like Candace. Hmm, that's not very nice, dear. What a stroke of luck. Look. And how is this better? This one's a vegetarian. So it's not going to eat us? Nope. Uh, excuse me. You who? Down here. Hi. We're made of meat, ma'am. Thanks. Wow. Isn't this amazing? You guys better figure out a way to get us home. Because if we don't get home, I can't bust you for this. Hey. That looks familiar. You guys, come here. Anyone recognize that bad boy? Uh, that looks like a footprint from the beast that tried to eat me alive. And it happens to be the very same footprint that's fossilized in the museum. Great! But how does that help us get out of prehistoric times? Watch and learn. It looks like a T-Rex footprint to me. Hey, look, a message. Time machine destroyed, stuck in 300 million BC. Please help. Signed, Phineas, Ferb, and Candace. Our friends need our help. Please turn to the time travel section of your Fireside Girls handbook. Hey, has anyone seen Perry? Doofenshmirtz Sable Incorporated! Ah! Oh, easy, easy, you're tearing it! I, I... Oh, I remember when this picture was taken. It was the happiest day of my life. It was the day I decided to get my picture taken. But it wasn't until I got outside the photo store that my life changed forever. I had a feeling that there was someone hiding behind the mailbox. I had a nemesis. I used to sit alone doing evil all day. But now I think that someone's gonna get in my way Yeah, there's someone in my life That doesn't want me to exist And I feel fine Cause I've got a nemesis Now I hate him and he hates me What a wonderful animosity Besides his hat, he wears no clothes. Now I have someone to oppose. 
Yes, I have a nemesis. Never, 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 you're disassembling my Freezenator ray? Well, well, I'm singing about my feelings? You, you're dead to me! You're dead to me! <laughs> All right, team, that should do it. Pile in. Okay, let her rip. Hold it. I think I know what the problem is. It says tie machine. He left off the M. Oh. Today on Dr. Feel Better, I want to be your nemesis again. And now, Dr. Feel Better. You ever wonder what would happen if you lost your nemesis? Well, that's precisely what happened to our first guest, Perry the Platypus. Perry the Platypus, share with us your thoughts. Uh, I'm sorry, he, do he doesn't actually talk. Ah, I see. And this communication issue is what led you to replace Perry the Platypus. No, I, of course not. Peter the Panda doesn't talk either. He's a, he's a panda bear. I see. Because he's an animal, he doesn't talk. Talk. Of course not! What kind of an evil scientist are you? Right. Doctor, what if I were to tell you Peter the Panda is backstage right now? What? Uh, Peter the Panda is here? Ooh! Peter the Platypus, I, I had no idea. I... Ladies and gentlemen, Peter the Panda. Oh, oh I can't believe I am just stuck here. I can't believe I'll never get to get my driver's license or or wear my dream dress to the prom. But most of all, I can't believe I'll never see Jeremy again. How long are we supposed to just sit here? I don't know. Ferb and I have decided to use this time as an opportunity to practice patience. Lovely. Well, I suppose things can't get any worse. Oh, look, the world's first bad hair day. Where's the rescue party you sent for? Hmm, it just occurred to me that I may have misspelled time machine on the plans. Well, I hope that's not going to be an issue. <laughs> Apparently not. Hi, guys. What you doing? Just waiting for you. Hop in, guys. We're saved! <sighs> you know, there's an M in time machine. Yeah, sorry. Take it away, Ferb. You mean to tell me you built a time machine that has to be plugged in? Oh, put a sock in it. Candace, no sudden movements. What does it matter? We're all doomed anyway. I mean, where are we supposed to find electricity in dinosaur land? The museum will be closing in 10 minutes. Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! That was awesome. Boy, that was a close one. Lucky for them, I was there, or we'd still be trying to escape that... <gasps> T-Rex! Thank you, Peter. I've been meaning to stack those chairs. Dr. Doofenshmirtz, tell Perry the Platypus how you feel. Perry the Platypus, I, I'm so sorry I hurt you when I wasn't actually trying to hurt you. If you give me another chance, I promise to hurt you in the right way, with cartoonish physical violence and elaborate traps constructed out of strange things I've purchased over the internet. What do you say? Aww. Well, what do you say, Perry the Platypus? Oh, thank you, Perry the Platypus. <sighs> Now! <laughs> I can't believe that worked! You know, Peter the Panda thought he had disassembled my Freezenator ray. But that was just a decoy. Bring in the real one, boys! You see, 
My plan was simple. Assemble all the best secret agents in one room and then turn them all into statues for my giant chessboard. <laughs> Hit it! Your imagination, hon. Uh, Perry the Platypus, you don't mind if I say goodbye to Peter the Panda, do you? I, I just feel weird how everything happened. Uh, hey, uh, Peter the Panda, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I feel so... Oh, <laughs> well, how about we go check out that scary dinosaur? No, no, don't go in there! It's going to eat you! I'm telling you! Well, you're right, Candace. It's very lifelike. Wait! Where's my remote? Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. There you are, Candace. History is so exciting. We actually went back in time. I know exactly what you mean, Finn. These exhibits make the past seem so real. Hey, there you are, Perry. All right, historians. Let's head home. Hey, Candace. This fossil is my favorite in the museum. <laughs> huh. That's funny. I never knew cavemen wore safety helmets. Fossils. Da, da, da. Boop. 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 Fossils. <laughs> 